Hello everybody, welcome back to the Metal Scrapper channel. Today we will melt some copper again. We'll make some copper bullion. And because it's copper bullion I want to have this one leveled out correctly. So let's first do that. And afterwards we'll fire up the furnace. Melt some copper in the salamander 4 kilo crucible. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, because the uh, biggest difference in height is on this length. I will uh, turn the blocks because I want them heft in lengthwise. I got several pieces. Got a uh, thicker piece and a, uh, some thinner pieces. We'll start out with the thinner pieces. Almost there. A little correction. This is what I want exactly level out. So now for this one. This one can still use a small correction. So the first step has been made. I level on them out on this way. Now I have to level on them out on this way. Because I will if my molds like this, I don't want to have the bar to be a thicker side and a thinner side. Okay, because we're working with two separate uh, pieces of bricks, cannot uh, have it all the way properly lined out. I think in the middle it's pretty decent. Come on, get in focus. And this edge, yeah, we could uh, a little bit push it on this side up. Here we are pretty okay too. Yeah, I think I can uh, give it a little adjustment there. I still check this one. So this is uh, the main thing I'm doing before pouring. If I'm making uh, copper bullion bars to make uh, stuff all level. Because I want to have real nice leveled out bars. Right, so I'm pretty happy now. This is leveled out. Let's put our ingot molds uh, on top of it and melt some metal. Here we go, let's start. Alright, so the next step will be filling the crucible of course with some copper. This is a uh, real nice thick pieces of copper. And yeah, there is a uh, kind of layer on the outside. Nevertheless, the copper I am melding is 999 fine. Yeah, with some uh, paint on it. But that will burn off. Right, let's uh, start up the furnace and melt some copper. So this will make up for a great start. This is the uh, 4 kilo salamander crucible. So if I fill it uh, just under the edge, it contains up uh, to 4 kilos of bronze. Let's say 4 kilos of copper. So yeah, let's uh, fire up the furnace. Once uh, this has been uh, liquefied or been melted away, I'll uh, add some more pieces. But look at this copper, guys. The best source of copper I have so far. Alright, let's fire up the furnace and melt some metal.
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, guys. Finally, uh, did the pour. Um, first time, uh, yeah, that was a little bit full, and the crucible shifted inside the pouring tank, so I spilled uh, quite some metal. Got some metal uh, back into the furnace. I just hate it when I'm uh, spilling uh, copper. So, um, and on a side note, yeah, uh, last Friday uh, we had to uh, let go our uh, cat. We had a red uh, and white cat, so pretty sad. It's now uh, Sunday, so just happened, and we have another cat, the gray and white cat, and that uh, is already missing for a week. So, yeah, we got two cats now we have none but i just uh, got a message she has been spotted uh, last week so i'll go uh, search for uh, for the cat and i'll wrap this up later so but yeah uh, with editing this will take a, a moment i hope uh, I'm, uh, i'll be back with some good news and yeah i'll see you back later all right so i just uh, got back from searching for the cat did not find her and we're a little bit in doubt if she is the cat we're looking for so well well was a try um come on get in focus i'm gonna remove the the two uh, pouring uh, towers of bricks i noticed there was a lot more spilled so i'll uh, keep those to melt again i'll clean the bars and i'll show the end results all right so i'm back with the uh, scales and of course the ingots and man i really love to make some copper bullion it's one of the most relaxing things i can do so we got uh, two big bars these weigh around 900 gram each two times a copper cube i hope this will be a uh, little bit in focus i'm using a different camera now because i forgot my camera i'm uh, working with classified stuff on my work so i'm not allowed to uh, get my camera on some spots of my uh, work and uh, when i uh, yeah got the news my uh, cat just died yeah i uh, totally forgot my phone 
which has the uh, better camera, but that's okay. We have plenty of uh, other uh, phones. So this is my old phone, but alright, it does the job. So here are the finger bars, and look how beautiful and clean they, uh, they all came out. So let's uh, see how much we melded today. It's at zero, the big, one of the big bars, 938 grams, the other one, slightly lighter I guess, 847 grams. Yeah, it was a quite a messy pour, so I uh, was a little bit afraid of uh, some steam explosions, so I did not uh, pour those evenly, but 533 grams for the first cube, se second cube, 545 grams. So, pretty happy with the cubes. First finger bar, 266 grams. Second finger bar, 263 grams. Third uh, bar, 219 grams. And the last bar, 297 grams. So the total melt of today will be almost 4 kilos. Well, that's, uh, like I said, it's a 4 kilo salamander crucible. It was uh, just filled, uh, well, maybe uh, half an inch under the... Uh, top of the crucible. So now we know that, 3977 grams. I will bring those cubes to the safe and then I'll show the uh, total stack weight. Could be a slight uh, lighter than this. my previous uh, stack video because I got some to make some uh, bronze but uh, this will make up uh, good for some weight. Alright, see you back at the safe. We are back at the safe. Forgot to turn on the, the light. Luckily, we have some light on the phone. Right, let's put those bars where they belong in the safe. Uh, all my finger bars are over there, so let's put them there. That's a nice fit. Now, some cubes. I think I will get rid of some other metals in this safe because it's getting a little crowded in the safe. And my main goal is to uh, fill the top shelf with only copper, so... And now the big bars. Hope this will fit here. Well, maybe the other, other one will fit. Yeah, that's it. A bit smaller. So that's been filled, and I'm filling it behind the big bars. So, this is it. Added some more copper to the stack. We'll rinse this a little bit again. And the starfish will go here. So, too bad, no coins. These are all the coins I have, but well, maybe next time more luck. So, I hope you guys like this video. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to see a video about knowing every week. Have a great week, hope to see you next week. And the total stack weight will be in the screen right now. Bye bye!